you know the resolution? It's 9020 and 1080 maybe? Okay, but the proportion? Okay. Uh, this is not this is what I can no, it's not this one now. this now. Yep. How to make it win? Uh, ah, clones. So, a small introduction. I'm uh, Tal from Tel Aviv. Uh, I'm uh, currently working in Berlin as character animator and uh, rigger for a video game company using Blender. And uh, my free time, I sometimes uh, help with the production of a tube film that you probably heard of or participate. And uh, I also uh, developed a crowd system uh, <clears throat> with the game engine and the Python, which is my first experience, so it's not perfect and could be improved and optimized and uh, would be nice also if people uh, will uh, continue this development because it's all, almost there. And uh, actually, since last week, there was... Uh, since the release of uh, 2.6, there was a new function that added to the game engine that make almost everything that I was working on with an interface. So, so now it's easier to make this. So first I uh, show you the three shots. Uh, everything is still work in progress. And uh, <clears throat> this is from the film tube. And this is uh, still just the AI of the cockroaches. Uh, there is still no animation, and the characters are still a proxy. And uh, for the animation, we are going to use an uh, autowalker from uh, Josh Weldlake. Show it one more time, that, because it's really fast. <coughs> Yeah, so the plan now is to use the uh, auto walk for the animation and also to export the movement into curves. So also the body could uh, have the path modifier, not the path, the 
like that the body can also bend a little bit. <coughs> okay. Uh, so I show you the uh, process for making how to start to make the crowd system. So, uh, so when you start, this is uh, unlike uh, other crowd system. It's not uh, based on particles. It's based on the game engine. And uh, we use I used here uh, all the radars for uh, to avoid collisions. And when you start the crowd system, you don't start from a crowd. You start from uh, uh, one or two agents. Agents is the name for the each uh, unit inside the crowd system. And uh, the boxes is uh, the collision object, and it's the brain of the cockroach, actually. And the cockroach right now is just uh, linked, of course. Um, yeah, so uh, first uh, I use uh, different uh, radars. There is the radar for the front, radar to the sides to, for detecting collisions. <coughs> uh, special ray for uh, walls collision for climbing, rays for the ground to detect if there is a ground under, and the near sens sensor. Uh, I use Python uh, mainly for conditions. So the Python script is uh, a lot of ifs and a lot of really long if, if, if. Uh, and the actuators is. Uh, Attach actuator uh, for making the cockroach stick, uh, motion for the movement, and uh, tracking uh, targets. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, I could write everything with Python, but uh, I preferred to, like, instead of creating all this. Uh, Radars, I could just write everything in Python, but uh, it was easier to make it like this for me because uh, I'm a new Python user. It was the first script for me. And uh, also because of this, uh, that I make this, I can adjust uh, each uh, agent also. Uh, if I make uh, with a script, uh, they all have the same uh, values, and like this, I could uh, adjust uh, variations. Oh, and there is also on the left, I uh, use the properties for um, inputs and outputs. And some of them are manual, like the speed of each uh, agent. Uh, priorities, and the rest is more to use for the script to get uh, back and forth inputs. <coughs> so when we start to work on a crowd system, we start with one or two agents, and we need first to decide what kind of behaviors they are going to have. It will also depend on the shot of the film. So for this uh, for this project, the tube project, I used uh, mostly a similar script. With uh, there is some changes, but it's mostly similar. It's cockroach, and uh, yeah. So the first behavior, except moving forward with action uh, actuator. So the first behavior is normally to avoid collisions. Uh, <coughs> so these uh, two agents, they need to decide. Now they need to decide uh, one if uh, I turn left, right, or I stop. So to help us with these decisions, we make a uh, some kind of hierarchy system. So when I create the agents, each agent uh, have a property called priority. So the priority defined uh, the hierarchy. So the one with the higher priority, he will continue, he will turn and continue, and the other one will stop. And uh, the one that stops, he have also a timer 
that says, okay, if you stop too long, you have to start to make a decision. So after a certain time, if there is too much cockroach around that you don't, that have higher priorities, you don't get stuck, you start to look for a different solution. Now, uh, which uh, direction when the agent, he, the one, the orange one, he need to decide which direction he want to go. So for this, there is uh, the target object. These are the targets that they need to reach to each target. And uh, there is a calculation. It's also using the track two constraint a actuator, but it's also using a function in Python that says in which vector is your target and which direction you want to turn. But this is not the only uh, decision for a turning. It also depends, do you have something on your left side or do you have something on your right side? So right now we have an obstacle on the right side of the orange agent. So with the, uh, you have the right and left radars. So when the right uh, radar turn positive, it means you have a collision, turn left, doesn't matter where is your uh, target. And if we move the Tackle to the left of the orange agent, he will go right. It will always try to optimize the, to get the best result to reach his uh, target. It's uh, important, it's important to him uh, to reach his target because uh, we want to it's not a game, it's, uh, for, it's meant for a movie and we still need to have some uh, control uh, over our, uh, our agents and to decide on the direction and what is the first way to reach their destination. Now the <coughs> another behavior would be a trigger behavior. This means that there is something that triggering our agents, uh, for example, now, they start from speed zero. But they have here a trigger object. And in the film, you could see, in the shot that I show, you could see there is the papers falling. And in other, another shot, there is uh, the sound of the, uh, the train coming. So when the, something is triggering them, so they use the, they use the uh, near sensor. And when this is on a certain distance, they get a uh, higher speed. So right now they're relaxing. And when this is in a certain distance, they start to move. Now, one target is not enough for us to control because if we have a comp more complex scene, we need the, uh, it cannot, if we just put our target here, it will get lost inside the, this maze. So, uh, for this, we create uh, an array of targets. And uh, it means um, first go to, Okay, it uses it use a property called the target. And uh, I put input for uh, the target for this agent. And uh, right now I use uh, the targets, are the base name of the targets are called the uh, cube blue. So the array is searching for all the objects that have uh, the name cube blue inside of their uh, name. 
So this is cube uh, blue zero zero one, cube blue zero zero two, and so forth. And uh, the array will organize the in the alphabet uh, alphabetical order. So the agent will go to this, then to this. And in the end, we can decide uh, when you reach uh, your last object. Here, I don't remember what he decides. Yeah, yeah. He just go back to the first, maybe. But you can make him, uh, if you want to stop, or if you want to go backwards from the array. <clears throat> so this gives us uh, much more control over uh, our agents. Uh, and we can define for uh, different groups of agents the path that they want to go. And this is really important when the, you have your director and you don't. In the beginning, I was actually using a lot of uh, random uh, functions, but with the random, you don't know what to accept, expect. And uh, when the director tells you that this uh, part should go there and this part should go there, then. Yeah, random is not really helping. Now the next step for cockroaches is of course climbing. So for this, uh, I'm, uh, there is a decision when you are reaching uh, an object with a uh, property called the uh, wall. It has a wall property on zero, and uh, the priority is also, uh, the number is not important, it just search, does the next uh, object have a property called wall, and you can see in the array that it has, you enter a wall, and when it's uh, reaching, if it's positive, then it, uh, it starts to turn on the X, like this, uh, until it's, uh, it's aligned with the face, with the normal of the, this object. Uh, yeah, also I forgot to say that in the trigger object, the one that is falling down and triggering them, it's also, it has a property called trigger, so when the if they are on zero and uh, the near sensor uh, recognizes uh, that there is something with the property trigger. So we use these properties to define the, the objects around. So here it also used the uh, attach constraint. So it's basically almost always uh, have uh, is attached to the object uh, of the ground. There is a ground sensor, a radar a ray ground that uh, tell him, uh, do you have something under you? Uh, if yes, then what is it? And then uh, attached to this object. But when uh, you start to climb, uh, you disconnect the attachment, and a little bit before is aligned, he go back. Is uh, using again the attach constraint. Uh, also for climbing, uh, it's, uh, it, we need also to cancel gravity because we uh, I use the bullet physic uh, engine, and. Uh, to cancel gravity, you simply add in the force field uh, the same value of gravity. So if gravity here is 0 0.6, so force in the force field, you add 0 0.6. And it's, uh, or minus, I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's always to play back and forth with the numbers. And we always use two agents to decide also here, when uh, before he starts to climb, you can see that he tried to make him, himself parallel to the object, so it have an easy way to climb. 
because right now, he first he wants to reach uh, his target that is on the right. But then uh, he turned right, but then he turned a bit left so he can climb and be parallel to the object. And he's always uh, checking if he's parallel or not to the object. And yeah. And like I said, all these things, uh, they are released in the last version. Someone already worked on them and built an interface. And there is the steering actuator that I still didn't try it, but from what I saw, it makes most of the thing with interface, and there is navigation mesh. So it's actually, it can be much easier to build a crowd system using this. <coughs> yeah, so I show also the shot in tube. So this is uh, the shot that one of them that I showed you before. It's like two seconds. No, it's less than one second. It's even faster than in the film. I can show you again. So in this shot, uh, the crack coaches need to disappear from the scene in <coughs> in a split second. It's even faster than. Uh, in the actual movie, it's even faster. So for this, I had to make an array of targets because they all uh, go through really narrow passes, path. Uh, so this way, it was easier to control. Also, you can see that uh, in crowds, usually we don't, the crowds are, it's a big group with a lot of groups inside. And to make uh, life easier, I gave each group a different color. And the color is the same color of uh, the targets. So this group, the red group, which have uh, here a property Q red. So all these red cockroaches, they will follow the red path. And so on. Uh, yeah, and also in this shot, uh, the, some of them use the priority system that uh, I explained before, this hierarchy, that if each, uh, that the decision made by uh, the priority that I decide when I design the scene. But I didn't use, uh, only some of them used this system, but <clears throat> most of them, because uh, it wasn't, we wanted that they really disappear as fast as possible. In this shot, by the way, it's, uh, there is uh, the sound of the train is coming, uh, and when the, the sound is coming, they need all to, uh, yeah, to disappear. So the sound is, uh, it's, th this triggers is, uh, the thing that triggered them, that it's as if it was the sound. Uh, so you can see it has a trigger property, and when they reach a certain distance, the near sensor becomes positive, and they all start to run. And they get a random uh, speed. Uh, <clears throat> and what I said before, that the here, the priority is not based on what I decide early. It's based on the distance from the the distance from the target. So, if uh, one object is uh, more close to the target, the other uh, one agent is closer to the target. The second agent will uh, let him path, like in the highway, maybe I don't know. Uh, it's let him go and uh, yeah, so this I can show. It's a little bit slow. <coughs> also, uh, 
you see there is holes in the ground. It, here it doesn't look so good, but uh, this because we use I used more primitives for the simulation to make it easier. And like there is the hole in the ground, in the film it will be small cracks in the ground. And you can see also that one of the objects, like if you look in the orange one, he let the one that was closer to the target, he let him uh, go first and uh, yeah, and some of them are stuck in the back over there. <coughs> and usually, actually this is a pretty fast for a crowd simulation, I think. And uh, I run uh, this simulation a lot of times until I get uh, the best result that I like. And in the end, it needs a little bit of tweaking. Like you see, there is the yellow in the back is a little bit uh, lost there, and the green one. Or sometimes I just add extra agents, and the ones that I don't like, I can delete for this shot. <coughs> also, the uh, it's um, better to, like in the shot, they are moving really fast, and uh, it's better that for the simulation, I give them a much lower speed. Now it was also really slow because of calculating, of course. But uh, it's better that uh, they will be slower because it's, uh, you can be more precise with the decisions and yeah, you have less collisions actually like this. Uh, also another thing is that uh, I use the uh, in this shot, I use uh, dynamics for the uh, uh, agents. So, uh, yeah, for the agents, they use dynamics, and it was uh, better uh, for this shot to get the solution, but uh, in another shot. Uh, this, uh, this shot is a shot that I managed to work it out yesterday. It's one of the most difficult shots in this movie. And it's really slow, of course. Because these shots, uh, there is a lot of interaction with the papers falling, and there will be also interaction with the character that is stepping on the cockroach. And here they are using a rigid, a rigid uh, physics, rigid body. And uh, the reason for this is because this shot, it's all uh, using uh, mainly one mesh that is using triangle mesh. Normally, it's, uh, easy, it's easier with primitives and to use dynamics, but because uh, this, uh, this shot have a lot of bumps uh, when you get closer. You can see that uh, it's not really straight, so with rigid bodies, it was easier to achieve this, but with rigid bodies, you need to be more, I think, precise. Uh, with uh, more simple things, like to go on the cubes, uh, it can get some uh, problems, but with uh, uh, yeah, small bumps, it's getting much better results with the rigid bodies. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, the last thing I will want to talk about is uh, because this is not really a crowd simulator, it's the game engine, but I think it's uh, really, it's not far from uh, being a crowd simulator because crowd simulators are uh, normally, it's uh, something very similar to a game engine. Uh, and uh, yeah, and because we have the recorder, it can uh, can be used as a crowd simulator. 
but there is problems with the recorder. I already reported it. So uh, right now it's recording on, uh, only on 60 frames per second. So uh, I always have to speed up uh, the scene, also because I make it slower on purpose, and also because it's 60 FPS, and uh, the movie is uh, played at 24 uh, frames per second. So this is something that could be fixed, and also I knew, I think it's a bug that I found, that the action act actuator uh, doesn't work when uh, I use the recorder. Uh, it could be really nice to have uh, uh, more properties for the recorder, and also I didn't find any way to record the uh, uh, animations, like uh, uh, armature actions. And if this was possible, I think this would be already a crowd simulator, because then uh, we can uh, decide which uh, animation clip does the agent want to use every time. And we wouldn't need to use, for example, the auto walker script now, because we could just already implement it inside the recording simulation. Uh, yeah, also one thing that I hope there is some developers here that will be interesting to develop it further, and because I have really small knowledge about Python but to create food system, mainly for uh, biped characters, so the legs don't slide when you make walk cycles. It's something that you can calculate more or less uh, for walk cycles, like how much the distance, but if there is like a really fo a food system, it could be something really helpful. Uh, also for uh, adjusting uh, I had to copy each agent and to change uh, each uh, property. And if it could be uh, an option, I'm sure it's, I'm going to check it out, how it's possible to write, but to make uh, a script or something that uh, if I choose this uh, character and this character and I want to, and some other characters, agents, and I want to change the property for all of them, that it's a parallel adjustment for, like for all the selection. And also if I want to choose a bunch of agents and to change for all of them, so instead one by one to, uh, yeah, to make like parallel adjustment. Is there, a, someone know if there is an option like this, if there is a script? Because I don't think it will be something really difficult. Uh, also, to make these things uh, built in, so uh, you don't need to write all these properties. It, if it will be already part of the game engine, it will be a big step. And actually, the, act the steering actuator, actuator it's already a big step for this uh, crowd system. Uh, and I'm going to test it, and I think it's uh, already almost there from what I saw from the sample files. Uh, and last thing is that I think uh, one thing that I really like about Blender is that you have a lot of uh, small tools, uh, like the game engine, for example, like a lot of different tools. and I think when you uh, combine the tools or the editors, uh, we could create uh, new tools by combining them. So if there was more connection for in and outs between different, like for example, uh, a connection between the partic particle system and this uh, kind of crowd simulator could be, maybe there is and I don't know, but it could be a really good tool to combine also particles in this. Uh, also even to co uh, combine with the node editor or with different tools and the uh, different physics, uh, uh, the different simulation, because there is the bullet engine and there is the other simulations with the modifiers and particles. Uh, yeah, that's it. I, I would like to know if 
people have questions or suggestions or opinions for this project. Maybe Basan wants to say something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, alignment. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, first uh, I use the uh, uh, attach constraint. So they are being attached. Uh, when you start to climb, you have like a property called uh, climb. Uh, zero means uh, it's not climbing, one it's climbing up, <coughs> and uh, two is climbing, like one is, uh, x uh, is rotating like this, and two is rotating like this. And uh, uh, I also use, uh, in Python, uh, use the function to, uh, to look if it's uh, parallel to the normal. He gets the normal and they see how much uh, degrees and uh, if it's uh, not parallel, he always uh, try to balance himself. Yeah, Python and uh, in the end, uh, when he start to climb, he don't use the um, attach constraint because then he couldn't attached to the, to the next object, but uh, so he disconnect, but once it's, it recognizes that it almost aligned, he used the attach and it's attaching back. Uh, one thing also that I forgot to mention about climbing. Uh, it was the last one. Is uh, that when he climb up, uh, he rotate, but when he climb back, he use the uh, uh, ground uh, sensor. And when he see that there is no ground under him, uh, he, the py Python says, uh, OK, slow down. Uh, look, if there is no ground, uh, make your like, rotate back, and then attach again. Uh, as much as you want. Yeah, but uh, the problem is uh, now I was duplicate one by one and changing one by one the priority. So right now there is 100 and something agents, but uh, for thousands, first you need a good computer. <laughs> uh, all, what? Yeah, or to make a script that say uh, make random uh, random priorities and uh, yeah. Also, the problem is the recorder; it's recording everything. And uh, when uh, you save the recorded file, you have everything uh, with keyframes, and uh, it's really heavy. And uh, the last uh, shot that I make that is pretty long shot. Uh, it's when I pre uh, when I try to access the keyframes and make scale for the keyframes, the Blender would crash. And if there was uh, more options in the rec recorder to choose which uh, objects I want to record and which not, could be also uh, something useful. Hmm? Ah. What? Yeah. yeah, I think it will. It's something that I hope that people will use it. I mean, now uh, people can use the steering actuator, and yeah, but I think for multiply uh, selections, there is the option what you show me with the grease pencil that you can uh, make a. Uh, yeah, scatter them around the grease pencil and this 
I still didn't really try it, but uh, it, yeah. Okay, or uh, there is one more question. Internet, I don't hear you. Yeah. Right now he's using these targets as a path finding. What I saw, the steering actuator, uh, it has a navigation mesh. It's the session, thank you. Is it using a recast and detour library, or is it just a... Yeah, I was wondering, because uh, I've been just hearing a lot of good things about recast and detour, but, but never yeah, used them. Yeah. But, the, uh, but the game engine doesn't use them. Either. 